It's a great day at the Groveland Church of Christ, and we are thankful to God for His many blessings He gives to us. And we are thankful for the opportunity that we have here to assemble together and to worship together. And we pray God's blessings upon us this first day of the week that we will do so in spirit and truth. If you are not able to be with your home congregation, we want you to know we're thinking about you and praying for you, that you'll soon be able to be with them and to be able to worship them. We invite you to be with us if the opportunity avails itself. We'd love for you to come see us and to worship with us. If you can't be here in person, we invite you to join us online. Our Sunday evening worship at 6 o'clock is broadcast via Zoom, as well as our Wednesday evening Bible study at 6.30 is available live on Zoom. And we would love to share the link with you that you can join us, study the Word of God together. We pray for your blessings for the work here in Groveland, uh, that you will remember us and you'll lift us up to God for the work that we do here. And there are a number of our congregation that we continue to pray for on a daily basis. We pray for Betty Ann, for Marga. We pray for Kevin, for Janice's mom. Uh, we pray for those of our congregation who work in the health field, for Amber and for Lori, for Renee, for Shauna. We also want to continue to pray for uh, Christopher, uh, who is Sonia Radford's grandson, who works at the hospital in Orlando. We lift these up, and for those around the world, literally, as they continue to deal with the effects of this pandemic, we pray God will be a shield about them, and a shelter to protect the doctors, nurses, and first responders uh, who lend aid and care to those who desperately need it. We hope that God will bless you and be with you, and that he will keep you well, and that uh, our days here will be spent to bring honor and glory to the holy God that we serve. Some others of our congregation that we want to remember, especially some family members, uh, to pray for uh, Tim and Sherry's uh, son, Stuart, to pray for Sherry's mom and her sister. Continue to pray for Natalie, uh, Merlene and Calvin's daughter in New York, uh, a number of others uh, that need our prayers, need our thoughts. Some dear friends of ours in uh, adjoining town, Robert and Rosemary Thornhill, who are dealing with the COVID virus, lift them up and pray God's healing upon them. Also, I have a brother-in-law um, who lives up in Tallahassee. He and one of his sons also has the COVID virus, just diagnosed this past week. And so we want to pray for them. That's Alan Means and his son, Joey. So we pray for them, uh, that God will heal them. Again, we solicit your prayers. And we pray God's blessings upon us here for the work that we do that will be to his honor and to his glory. My Lord has gone with so wondrous fine and further texture fills. His fragrance reach to this heart of mine with joy my being thrills. Eternal 
out of the ivory palaces into a world of woe. Only his great eternal love made my Savior go. To leave behind the beauty and glory of heaven, to come to this sin-filled world. Jesus, intent on carrying out God's will, freely and willingly gave himself on Calvary's cruel cross. The Apostle Paul pins these words for us in Philippians chapter 2. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. And have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Being found in human form. As Jesus came to this world, God incarnate fully in the flesh, that he would give himself as the perfect Lamb of God the perfect sacrifice for our sins. He would go to that cruel cross because of his great love for you and me, because of his determination to carry out God's will to its fullest extent. And on that cross, on that old rugged cross, he would give his life. They would take him from that cross and bury him in the tomb of Joseph of Arimathea, and on the first day of the week, the Lord Jesus Christ would rise triumphant over death. Thanks be to God for this great victory that we have in Jesus, for his victory over death and for all that he brings to us and gives to us. Thank God for the opportunity that he gives to us today as his children to remember Jesus. As we partake of this bread that represents his body broken for us on Calvary. As we take this fruit of the vine that represents his precious blood that was shed for us there. May God help us today and this day to remember. May God help us this day to be so thankful for the blessings we have in Christ. For the hope we have in Christ. As we remember him until he comes. Crown him with many crowns, a lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing.